euro pulls back for the week only to turn around and show signs of strength. Before we start, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by XNS, the world's leading retail brokerage firm offering ultra-fast executions and no overnight fees. Look for a link in the description below. The euro initially plunged for the week to break down below the 1.08 level, only to turn around and show signs of strength, especially on Friday as we exploded to the upside. As the jobs number came out weaker than anticipated in the United States, having people look to the Federal Reserve to start cutting rates. The question now is, where do we close? Because you can see just above the 1.09 level, there has been significant resistance. And the 1.0950 level above is an area that we have sold off from a couple of times. I think we continue to see a lot of choppy range bound behavior, but it looks at least at this point, you can use this chart as an idea as what to do with the US dollar against other currencies. That's how I use it. I honestly trade the Euro maybe twice a year. It is a short term scalpers type of market most of the time. And that's fine if that's your trading style. But as a swing trader, I tend to look at it to give me an idea of you know where the dollar might go against other currencies during the next couple of weeks. It's an excellent indicator for that. It's basically a proxy for the U.S. dollar index. At this point, if we break above the 1.0950 level, then I think the 1.10 level gets targeted. If we turn around and break down below the 1.08 level, then the 1.07 level gets targeted. As things stand right now, it looks more up than down, but we'll have to see how the week closes. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.